It's a lot going on in this game, bro. It's a lot going on in these game modes. We got to talk about it all. But first of all, we need to talk about King of the Court. It's looking like there's is, there's a trend. There's definitely a trend going on. We've seen the same winner three times in a row. I mean, the bro is out here getting to the chicken. Splashy is splashing. I don't think anybody can mess with his game right now as far as what's going on. I mean, just just I'm just calling a spade a spade. But there's a lot going on with the prizes. The prizes, are, we got to talk about those. We got to talk about a lot. We got to talk about these game modes, matchmaking. Let's just... Let's jump right into it. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm going to say, if you don't have a squad squad, the safest place for you to be is down here in salary cap. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. It's a safe space. Like, let's just be real. Let, let's be real. These prizes here could be a little bit heftier. Like this 15 shoe pack, you could have at least like four picks in here. I don't know. We can make this an 84 plus. This five is cool, I guess. Hidden gems is all right, I guess. Ten K is cool. I mean, this could be a diamond player. We're in the we're in the era of diamond players. If you don't have diamond players on your squad, then what are you really doing? An unauctionable ninety plus overall is kind of like that's not gonna play for my team at least. Like, I mean, let's look at my team. I'm and I haven't spent much money. I haven't spent much money. I've opened like two two ten packs, maybe a twenty pack, maybe a twenty pack, a few ten packs. And that's been out of like MT that I I earned MT and I I maybe bought like like 400k VC, but other than that I haven't really opened much and I'm only rocking this type of team. Like if we look at replaced players, we look at all these players. I got a I got a few I got a few of these free free uh, agents left, but honestly my team, my bench, my go to cards that I could pull from are rubies. I'm not getting much. I got some amethyst players that are on my bench or some amethyst that don't play for me anymore. But honestly, I have I have pretty good cards, okay cards. They, they can't compete though. So the prizes could at least be diamonds. You can at least be giving up diamond players. I mean, I would ask for maybe a little bit more than that. I would ask for like maybe a heftier grind. This 15 could be 25K. I'm gonna just say that. But I would ask for a heftier grind and maybe some pink diamond, some pink diamond players that you can give up. I just got this off of this shoe pack. Let's see what kind of shoe I can get out of here. I'm I'm I don't really need any shoes, but let's just see what they got in here. They got some heat in here, a little key, a little heat. Let me see if I can find some heat. We want some more of these low Chuck Taylors, low key. I might I might want to outfit my whole team in Chuck Taylors. What am I gonna pick up though? Let's see. I like this Jordan here. I'm not gonna pick it up though. Some more fives, I mean fours, another pair of red fours. Maybe a, I don't know, we'll take this. We'll take this, a two and a four, why not? Um, I just feel like these prizes could be a little heftier. They could be way more what of. Now, this here, this here is kind of crazy. This here is kind of crazy. I mean, the rewards that they getting from this aren't really too hefty. Top 1%, 92 plus pack. Okay, I I guess. That's a diamond, I guess. But um, top 10%, a 90 overall. Top 50%, a 87 plus. That, these are not, that's nothing. That's nothing. I mean, a million VC if you get the king, if you're the king. And I mean, I, don't, I guess that's like after everything's all finished. I'm not sure. Either way, a million VC is crazy. Is the king of the court getting that every week? Whoever's the king that week gets a million? Because that's going to be crazy. That is actually sick. That's actually sickening if that's happening. You got to fill me in in the comment section. What is the king of the court getting per week? Because I'm not him. Maybe I can ask for help. <laughs> Let me stop. I need help. Honestly, I need help because this game mode is not easy to sit through. And it's a lot of it takes a lot of time to really get through a lot of this. So, I mean, if we're looking at Triple Threat Park, I'm not there yet. I just don't enjoy going out to the Triple Threat Park for some reason. It's not for me. These dominations, I haven't been able to finish these because my team just kind of sucks and I can't get past these errors players. I just can't get past them yet. I, I'm going to try again. I'll give it another try. Exhibitions are still broken. I can't. I don't have any players for exhibitions. I don't know why I can't play exhibition games. I can't put my players. I have these players. If we go through and look, if I look through my list of players, bro, I have players. He said a small forward from the heat. 
and it said that I didn't have any, if I look through my collection and I search players and I put in a small forward from the Heat, where are the Heat? I definitely have three small forwards from the Heat. So that trumps that. Is it because they're locked in? I can't use them in? That's dumb. If that's the, if that's the fact that because they're locked in, I can't use them in the, uh, in the exhibitions, then that's kind of crazy. If we go over here to breakout, the prizes and breakout seem kind of lackluster. I stopped playing breakout a long time ago. I might stream some of that in a minute. Who knows if I just want to jump on kick or jump on Twitch and stream that for a few hours, who knows? Um, but if we come over here to, to showdown, showdown is not hard to play. It's just the fact that I'm a level 12. I'm on level 12 and I get matched up with level one players. Like I get matched up with full pink diamond uh, lineups and I'm barely pushing diamond over here. I'm on a 91 overall. It seems like I keep getting matched up with the best of the best in the world and I just can't box with them. You know what I mean? It's like trying to box with God. You just can't reach. Sometimes you can't reach. And then on the other end of the spectrum, they match me up with players that don't have, they have way worse teams than mine and I don't have the best team on the planet, but they match me up with people who have way lesser of a matchup and I just demolish them. So it's something going on there with matchmaking. It's kind of crooked. Something seems broken with that. And I just, to overlook that would be crazy. But these prizes that we get out of here, not really bad. Once you like, you got three wins, seven wins and 10 wins or something like that. I'm not mad at it. I'm still trying to get to uh, these 120 wins. But as you can see, I have 16 wins. I am nowhere near I don't know maybe i just need to it's and it's it's sad that that's even the thought that i'm about to spit out of my head what i'm about to spew out of my mouth is a sad case that i just thought maybe i just need to buy more boxes spend more money on the game and then i'll have a team but no i'm not gonna that's just not that's not cool for the culture bro that is not cool for the culture at all that i have to think that maybe if i just throw more money at the problem then we can make a better team and we can just make a better way to have something and that's just not cool i don't like that i don't like feeling like that like i just have to throw money at the problem because there should be a way to get better a better team out of here there should definitely be a better way but i don't know i mean i was just trolling through the the, the youtube streets watching a few youtube videos heard a few hot takes a few good takes i heard you know i was just listening to takes and that's the consensus in the streets today is folks are saying you know the prizes really aren't what you would think they should be you know diamond prizes should be at least the bare minimum the prizes aren't on pace with what cards we have available at this time that just that's just for real that's for real if we go to gyms of the game if we go to gyms of the game there's a michael jordan here <laughs> that you can have on your team where are we hidden gems? Are they hidden gems? There's a you can have this player on your team if you pull him. If you are lucky enough to pull him, if you throw enough money at the game, these are players that you can have already in season one of the game. This is crazy to me. And these players are just gonna get better and better over time. I mean, yeah, they'll become more accessible over time, but to think that these players are available right now, Galaxy Opal players are available right now. Dark Matter, Dark Matter Michael Jordan is available right now. And I mean, it does suck that this might be the weakest Dark Matter in the game. I mean, just being honest, just being honest that this, this Dark Matter right now in season one is available and will be the best player in the game. But by season five, by season six, might be the worst Dark Matter in the world. You know what I'm saying? because 11 hall of fame badges yeah that's cool 23 gold badges that's cool right now that's okay right now but what happens when a 99 player comes out that is you know has 40 hall of fame badges what happens then these players are obsolete so by season seven by season six no i'll give it season five by season five maybe four season four or five these players it could happen sooner than that though because we already have these players in season one i say by season three by season three let me collect my thoughts. It's no telling. That's what you're hearing from my mouth, straight from my mouth, is there's no telling. It could be season seven, it could be season two. These players will be obsolete. There will be better Galaxy Opals out here. Whenever they start rolling out the real buy pack, the pack Opals, you can guarantee that these players will be outdated, definitely. Like, 
it's just it's just for real that's just real like a lot of these players these hidden gems right here these 94 overall gems these diamond gems these are nothing you know what i mean there are players out here better than these already you know what i'm saying so we get to these pink diamond gems these might be the worst pink diamonds in the game once pink diamonds are really rolling out of the gates once they start rolling these pink diamonds and these galaxy opals out of the gates there's no telling what this game is going to turn into you know and it's it's going to bleed people's pockets you know i ran into lsk this morning my first game on and he has a ten thousand dollar team it looks like you know some of these people already have put thousands of dollars into this game and i'm just not there i'm not there mentally i'm not i'm not really going to invest into this game because who knows what this is going to turn into down the line it just seems like a money pit it does and i'm not gonna throw money into the pit i'm just i just refuse to at this point a lot of these challenges outdated outdated i can't i can't even do this exchange why can't i do this exchange i just don't have the cards you lock the cards in you can't really do anything about it after that so what do i have to do i have to go pull a pack to get some more gold cards or go to the auction house spend all my money in the auction house on gold cards get eight cards to exchange here just to get this shard for a chance to get I don't know a, a hidden gem a 87 overall it's not gonna I'm not I'm just not a lot of these just aren't worth it it's just not worth it to do a lot of this stuff is uh, and then there are other things that are worth the time there are other things that are worth it but you just have to be you have to be way more um observant I guess you just have to observe what what is worth your time and what is not in this game because it's a lot of things in this game modes that are just not worth it and at this point, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time on challenges. I honestly have, because what I'm be getting out of these out of these uh, hidden gems packs are just nothing. A lot of nothing. A lot of time wasted to get nothing back. But that's neither here nor there. The, the, the basis of this video and in my thesis is that we need better prizes. And hopefully going into season two, we can get better prizes off of these boards that kind of line up with the timeline and better sync up with the pace of the game at this point. The pacing of the prizes is just not on point with what cards are available for purchase in this game right now. And I believe it's all by design. So it's just designed to make you spend more money. Don't get it twisted. It's all designed just to, you know what I mean? Get you to spend a little more money because that was my first thought when it came to how do I, how, how do I get an advantage? How do I, and maybe I should just throw more money at it. And I mean, hey, Got it. that's just where we are. God willing, we can get a better, we can get better prizes going into season two. And if this, if it doesn't improve, then it's just going to get worse for no money spent community. It's going to get worse for the budget community. That's just the way it is. That's just what it's going to be. It's going to get worse before it gets any better. And seeing as how this is 2K and my team, and we see which direction we've gone already in season one, I don't think it's ever going to get any better for 25. So hopefully... If you don't, I mean, if you don't just figure out how to twist and turn and how to wiggle room, get some wiggle room, maybe snipe some cards off of the auction house, then, hey, have fun. You know what I mean? Have fun your way. That is what I'm going to keep preaching. Have fun your way. Make sure you're having fun. And when it's not fun anymore, be done. And that's, I mean, that's all I can say. Like the video, subscribe to the page. We're going to bring you more as soon as more is ready for you. So, uh, yeah. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing, I've seen what makes you cheer.